Hey, this is Sasha. Thanks for joining me in today's video. And what I want to do today is just show you a quick little clip, a glimpse, an insight to what we do in the options membership area. So if you're brand new to joining us, we do a lot of things with options. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a quick little clip from the member section of what goes on and happens behind the scene. Now, keep in mind, this quick clip is just truncated so it's smaller whereas in the member section you get the full video and even some of the sessions we go ahead and do them live so that way you get more insight on uh, in depth you can ask questions and uh, we can really cover some of the options topics uh, more heavily kind of based on the questions that you have and based on the market conditions. Now, if you want to join us in the options membership uh, area, just go ahead and go to our website. You can go to tradersfly.com. And by the way, there we have a getting started page for options. You can also check out some of the freebies here, um, download a Greeks cheat sheet and much more. And uh, go to the member section by clicking the membership area right there at the top. And that'll forward you to our website where you can see a couple of different memberships that we offer like options, ideas and strategies. And you can then click that button to learn more. And there's a video overview of what that membership's all about. Now, I hope you join us. That way you get some more insight, more in depth uh, on your options trading. You can see some other strategies based on market conditions, gives you some ideas, how you would manage things, maybe Q and A's and kind of like think of it like a discount Q and A session or a discount coaching session. Cause you could ask questions directly and I'm more honed in and focused on you. Whereas maybe if we do live events on YouTube, you know, sometimes comments and questions get buried in there and then, you know, you don't really get a chance to a little bit of focus on you. So anyways, um, hope you join us. Thank you so much. Enjoy this quick little clip as we have in this video. And keep in mind that the members area gets the full version. So I really hope you join us by going to our website at tradersfly.com. Okay, first things first. When you're dealing with earnings, remember it's a guessing game. This is not an investment strategy. It's a guessing game. It's a lotto ticket. You're taking a chance. If you've got $10,000 in your portfolio, okay, so let's say you go ahead and you've got $10,000 in your portfolio, I would say that, you know, this would be kind of your long directional portfolio and maybe uh, three to 6,000 should be in that long portfolio. And then again, depending on your percentages, uh, three to 6,000 somewhere in this mid range. So if you've got kind of 5,000 or 50%, let's say here, you might do kind of 3000 here in monthly and maybe you put like $700 or something like that in an earnings play. And that would be kind of in this area for your speculative. So just be aware of that for any kinds of earnings trade because with earnings, you never know. It's a guessing game. Uh, even if the stock's earnings are great, sometimes it sells off due to the forecast or some somebody says something or the CEO stepping down. So just be aware of that. So now that we're all clear, no recommendations on any of the earnings. Okay, so if you're doing something more uh, directional, yeah, you could do something like this as well. Yeah, if you're going really far out like that, um, yeah, you could risk a lot less for, for a longer potential. Um, that's also an a opportunity and chance. Just the one thing that may happen with this is, is just with the volatility, the way it plays out. Because remember, you do lose volatility. On one hand, volatility is, is kind of a time premium. It's weird, right? Because you have volatility it's really the the premium of time that's in these options even though we look at it as hey this is volatility it's really the amount of time that's in there so what's going to happen is that the shorter duration options right here will skyrocket for you right because you're selling them so you're looking for that premium to kind of come out and for these other ones what, what what's going to happen is you know um you've got that extra value in them but in this case, normally when you're setting up a trade with a positive Vega, what, what's happening is when the price goes up, the volatilities drop. So you can make a little less, but remember you're looking for a four to six point move. So this setup is interesting. If you've got a move that's maybe 20 points, um, cause you got a 170 to 180 and a 180 to 190. So what I'm saying is that that Microsoft has to go to about 180, 190 for you to really be, I guess, very profitable on it. Um, but yes, you're risking a little bit less, but you need a much bigger move to, to ha hit these, these profit targets, right? You're risking 62 to maybe make 
call it two, 275. But it's really got to move 20 points, whereas maybe with a butterfly, it only has to move four to six points that we talked about. In this case, you got to move, you know, uh, five times that. These kinds of stocks, you'll have a few that you'll pick for the long haul, you know, and you might do small positions. And like, let's say Tesla, what's going to happen is if you're interested in it for the long haul, I wouldn't do anything too crazy with it. But here, like this one, this is a short duration butterfly I did. You know, it's up $147 or so for the day, uh, but it's because it's short duration. Now tomorrow, here it is, 10 day butterfly. Now tomorrow, you don't know if it's gonna go up or down, but these things you don't wanna hold too tightly. Otherwise, what you might wanna do is, if you're looking to long invest these things, well, you could do things like a butterfly, not favoring butterflies, or like a diagonal. Uh, so let's say we went ahead and did a diagonal. I might go ahead and do a diagonal like this, let's just do a setup and get rid of this, do something like this and go like that. And let me see here if I can reset it a little bit. So what you might do is like smaller diagonals like this that, hey, as it continues to climb, you know, it gets up into this level, you take it off and then you put the next one on. And then it continues to climb. You take that one off, you put the next one on. And, you know, you could skew it, of course, really aggressively. You know, you, you could really aggressively skew it that way too, which is more like a vertical. And the reason diagonals are nice for this is because you've got that positive vega because when it does pull back, that vega will cushion you a bit. So, you know, uh, if you like a little less risk, then you just rotate it a little bit less. Um, and that gives you kind of a nice nice movement but a pullback should cushion you a bit and with tesla it's it's pretty big so you need to be very cautious on on the amount of rotation that you give it if you give it too much even just two two points you know just dropping down 60 70 points which is possible because today it's down 30 so in two days you could be down let's say three four hundred dollars but that vega will cushion you a bit so anyways um all right, so thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video, quick clip, and some insights on what we do kind of in the members section of the options segment. Keep in mind, if you're brand new to just getting started, go check out the options trading start here section on our website at tradersfly.com, or you could go to the freebie section where you could go ahead and download quite a lot of other cheat sheets, worksheets, mini video courses, and things that I'm working on uh, for you guys. And if you want to join us in the members area, go to the membership section right up here on the navigation bar. You'll be then taken to our members website, and that's where you can see the options, uh, ideas, and strategies membership plan. And you can get a big overview of what it's really all about as well with a video there. So thanks again for joining me. Uh, remember to hit subscribe if you're brand new to the YouTube channel. Or, of course, go ahead and join the newsletter list by clicking the link right over here. And that way you get notified as we release other great videos, courses, products, books, and maybe even join us on our live video session from time to time. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.